As far as champion pools go, I mean, they have been proven to be able to play all of these champions. The only slight question mark will be how well Moore plays the Nami versus Braum. But uh, happening. Oh, he just gets it. All right. Amazing has a lot of vision control. I wonder if they're going to try a collapse on him. They would lose so much lane pressure. Nunu is rather difficult to duel, though. Dyrus can pinch down. He's going to yeah, have to flash over the wall. Oh, he got another ward. Speaking of flash. Had another ward. Has to flash still. One miss. Dyrus coming in. Oh, no. 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 Oh, what a turn. Baited in for the kill. They're not even focusing now. And Ackerman still has, flash. has a flash. Bjergsen can't get in range for the stun. What a Can he recall in time? Oh. Can he get him? Oh, where's the shot? Flashes. That's going to be one. Amazing, or no name was going to be so. Darius teleported more. back into lane to try and not lose too much, but the mid lane, uh, we'll see if that kill works out for Bjergsen. He's going for a little bit more. No flash or ghost. No, so. he had flash. He'd be all over that. The this stun! Max range stun. It's going to last for quite a long time. And Red buff slow. Forces a flash. Here comes Amazing. The blood boil is only on him, so he's got to wait for that cooldown. Oh my gosh, Bjergsen! We'll see some discrepancies there, but yeah. For instance, the Lee Sin versus Nunu matchup. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between No Name's Lee Sin build and Amazing's Nunu build? One is Max Consume. This gank doesn't have too much power, but it might be just enough. Oh, yeah. The Absolute Zero goes down. They're making sure. They give it to Dire. It's very nicely done. No Name's there to help snowball the team. Now on a Wild Turtle. It oh! Like the sustain of the PF Sword payoff over the pickaxe. Buster shot at a... They want to continue the fight here. They're not really trying to execute out Dragon. It goes to the Consume Smite. Very nicely done. Amazing being able to take that one away. No name takes down Braum. That's going to be Lust Boy not being able to give help or sustain to the rest of the team. Vasily drops amazing, and it's just an all out battle. LMQ wants more back for not getting anything there. Yeah, it may just be a, a dragon kills. steal, but the fact that Vasily is getting these kills is really scary. And uh -oh. Wild Turtle is pretty far from home right now. No shell hard enough to keep him alive on this one. Vasily's not able to get anything off of that, but his two are oh, already. No. Whoa. Oh, for Ackerman. There he goes. Gets by the minion wave. A good shield in. Great job from Amazing to get some deep wards here with Chaos around the map. Glacial Fissure goes out and they answer Ooh. back. Soaking down Wild Turtle there real quick. Vasily gets hit up. There's the heal from him. More gonna try and solo out Turtle and here with the dodge. He already received and it's gonna be a jump in from Vasily. He blocked the Winter's Bite that would have hit. That up here. Good ward coming in from TSM. A pick always to have that rush. <laughs> Oh an expensive my. brush right there. Yes. No, you want to. A question of how much poke Bjergsen can land with that level 10 Zerath versus avoiding the initiation of LMQ. I mean, they can just go in and charge if they so choose. They are going to hit it. The tidal wave goes out. Bjergsen has to flash to the left side. He was afraid of Vasily's damage there. The front end burst and then the rest. And it's going to be a few kills coming in. Amazing goes down, but so does Ackerman. The retribution kills. Whoa, Vasily, there's that aggression that we were looking for. And it looks like he's going to be forced to beat that one as he, he backs up. He's done. Oh, he's beat. dipping, and he gets out alive. The back and forth fight yeah. right there. You can see how close these teams are. And somehow, LMQ beats them back to the Dragon Pit. It doesn't appear like No Name shocked. They're going back, though. Zareth with some great stunts. Oh, splits it. They're right there in the uprights. No Name gets stunned out immediately. What? There's Bjergsen from the outside. Wild Turtle's now about to end of the fight with the rest of the team. They're going for more. He is quite squishy. He does not have a flash. Only that Ignite Summoner, and he has no chance to use it or reason to. Cooldown ultimates on Zareth and Lucian. So they're really trying to dictate this match right now, mm. using their poke advantage to set up Siege. That generally yep. means that LMQ needs to set up some type of flank attack, but they just do not have the vision control or the ability to get in position for it right now. TSM just going to continue to siege like this until LMQ plans a flank. Or they oh. just run straight up the middle. I was going to say, it'll be very up, hard. Nice job. Bjergsen gets himself towards the back line. He's hurt, though. He's not even faced and focusing the fight. Ackerman and the rest of the team throwing out the DPS, and it's going to be the kill going in for Shao Wei Shao. Basili, headstrong into the fight. He says, King Me goes for another jump, and it's going to be the shots onto Dyrus. The ultimate keeping him somewhat alive. This Baron is ridiculously hard to stop. All the time, the pedal to the metal for LMQ. The shot's coming in again for Beans, oh! and on the outside, there's not going to be enough to heal more or keep him alive. Ackerman's forced to run out of this one. Now TSM has the upper hand as they come into the Baron pit, but still. Skip. All right. I may have overstated how ridiculously hard to stop that Baron was. <laughs> Bjergsen is rather fed right there, and that ultimate really chunked it down. Dyrus, though, gets kicked back. Ooh, right back. Oh, man. Dyrus has gotten out a lot of sticky situations in this one, but... Only so many that you can really get yourself out of Houdini. 
How what? much can he get? What? He missed it! Turtles oh, no! going crazy! The young turtle trying to go hard, and he has control. With the shockwave and the bubble right after the fact. Uh, TSM trying to cut them off a little bit, though. Bjergsen is properly positioned in the back right now. Oh, Moore throws out the tidal wave blocked by Lustboy, and that's going to be the last hit of the calling, taking down Moore. He's got 34 seconds on the clock, and they to each other have just resulted in the closest game of the series is fantastic. The way this game breaks will be so critical because the next two games would have to be won in a row and in a series this close is highly unlikely. Well, with TSM's inventory, a slot has been saved for five again. pink wards. They're not able to lay down the pink wards, though, if you get in the face of TSM. They shut down Bjergsen. They shut down Lustboy for any disengage, and LMQ is on a rampage to the... Yeah, all of TSM's eggs being in one basket is making the team fights very simplistic for LMQ. Right. If they can catch Bjergsen, they win. If they can't, they just run away. And they have enough move speed to do so. Uh, they figured this game out, it feels like. It was almost a ticking time bomb there. LMQ was just waiting for the moment when they could jump fearlessly in the face of Team Solo mid. Once again, fearlessly behind the turret. No name gets in, but he gets locked down, and he's going down. They try to give some crowd control and zoning with Amazing's ultimate. But it looks like the turret's too warmed up. Vasily's got good focus. They do lose one, but they take down the turret. Already taken down Dyrus with the engage. Lust Boy's gonna go down now. Vasily, 6-0-5 on the game. Checked on him, plus working closer to his frozen heart. So they have to consider that they don't see Dyrus, which may make them want to go in, but they're pretty sure they're about to see Even home guard Even just the turret seating of is immaculate right now, so they get a ton of damage down. Oh, amazing, just trying to throw down the crowd control. They could keep him outside the base long enough to do some big damage here. He's going to be forced back to the base, and this turret's going down in the next few shots. It yep. is a level 17 facility, so he's only looking for one more level on max range. Two, or no, one kill, rather, coming up as the turret falls. That's Dyrus as well going down. LMQ really persevered through the early game pressure coming in for Bjergsen and the rest of the team. Wow, Turtle gets hit very hard on that one. Shaw with the dissonance dodging, and he gets himself out alive with a nice command. Protect. Vasily says, let's go deep, and he goes for the kill. He gets out. Oh, the little jump doesn't keep him alive, actually. And he goes down with a quick snowball from Amazing, but LMQ is still riding high in TSM's base. And this is all off of that first yep. catch onto Bjergsen. Uh -oh. Dyrus, though, trying to keep this one going. He wants the Baron buff off of these LMQ guys. Home guard Dermundo. Here he comes. He's going to be trying to get LMQ more. They may go for that kill, but they say that's not the priority target. Lustboy will come in to help with that one. Dyrus, still on the chase, does not want to let LMQ get the backs. TSM going to be coming out of their base. Yeah, this could be number three, and there's not Nexus turrets for TSM. Even if they repelled this push, the game may be in the bag for LMQ. Oh, man. No name goes in a little too early. Bjergsen. Takes advantage of that with the blue buff, starts shooting out all the spells that he can. This is going to be quite a chaotic fight here. Still, he can't get himself to the left side just yet to get shots on the turret, so he's dancing around skill shots right now, but doing a good job of it with the sustain. It feels like the minions are just going to overwhelm yeah. Bjergsen. He's trying to put Poke down on champions, but he can't do both. He can't do everything for TSM, and that's the story of this game. LMQ, going to pick it up. We're going to go back and forth. One for LMQ, one for TSM, and one more shot from LMQ to take game three.